Hello then, welcome to Link Chess Duo, and uh, this video is about TLDR. So TLDR is a slang. It's an internet slang, and uh, it stands for too long didn't read. So Linux also has this tool called TLDR, which is a substitute for main pages. So let me show you how it works and how you can get it installed in your system. So let me give you a typical scenario. So for example, if you want to know about a command, how it works or any system functions, for example. So what you will usually do is that you can simply type man and the command name and it will give you this page here. And I think it's known as a pager in this environment. So this basically gives you the complete information about this Alice utility, what it does and uh, its description, its uh, different flags and parameters that you can use and uh, at the end you will get the author information and how you can report bugs, what is the copyright and uh, little bit more information about the tool. But this can be cumbersome for many users, especially if you're new to Linux and you are just trying to figure out how things work around here, then you probably find it really discouraging. It's a lot of text. I mean, people do not like to read a lot of text, right? So let me give you a counterpart of this man tool. So let me just uh, clear out from the, the LS pager and let me show you how this TLDR tool works. So you just type just like man tldr and you specify the command that you want to know about so just to let me give you an example for ls so as you can compare the man page was very long but this page is really really concise and to the point and it also gives you the example as per the different use case so let's say this is the ls command so what it does it lets directory contents and uh, these are different parameters that we can use for example if you want to list all the files including the hidden file then we can execute ls hyphen a so let me just try it and of course it is also listing these dot folder and files so these are hidden files that you will usually do not see here if you press ctrl h they will pop up so it gives you a very precise meaning of the command or any system function that you want to know about so that is what tldr is and uh, now let me show you how you can get this tool in your system. So this tool is actually available in the repo. So you can use your regular installation command like sudo apt install or sudo dnf install as per your distribution. So let me just show you sudo apt install and tldr. But uh, the version that is available here is very old. It, it's like 0 0.4. So developer had included it into the repo and they just stopped updating the app. So it's not available directly from the official repository or they do not provide any repository for that matter. But you can install it using the npm or python pip and there are different ways that are also available that you can use to get this tool. And I'm actually writing the article right now so you will get all the information here and the link will be given in the description of course. So let me show you how you can install it correctly in your system. So first of all, you have to have NPM installed in your system. So let me just uninstall this one because it's not updated. So for that, I can just type purge tldr. So it's actually an alias for complete purge command. So I do not have to type the complete command. I can simply type the purge and it will do the same thing. If you want to know more about the alias, then check out this video here. So let me just show you how you can install it correctly. So what do you want to do is just make sure you have npm installed in your system. So I have this uh, npm version 6.13. So let me just uh, execute the installation command type sudo npm then install provide the parameter of g and tldr. So let's hit enter and this will actually fetch the latest version of the application and it will install it in your system so it has installed it in the system it's saying it's in the user local bin directory and uh, which is actually linked to this directory so this is a node module and uh, let me just show you whether it is working or not so just type tldr so this is saying okay it's not tldr it's tldr so th this is saying the directory is not available. That means symlink is basically missing because the application is installed in this directory, but uh, bash is not able to locate in directory. So we need to create a symlink in order to get it work in the system. So for that, you can type sudo ln and uh, hyphen s. Then you want to specify the directory where the application is. So this is the directory actually. 
so I'm just going to paste it here and then the location where you want to link it so I'm going to link it in the again user directory then bin then tldr so after executing this command it will know that uh, tldr is available actually so here it will be available so just hit enter and again execute tldr and as you can see it is able to recognize the tool so these are different parameters that are available so first of all what do you want to do you want to update the cache locally so for that you can execute this command here so just type uh, tldr hyphen hyphen update and this will basically fetch the information about the different commands so it's done now so if you want to list all the commands that are available for us in the tldr then we can execute this command here so just let me just execute it here so it's a list okay so these are different things that we can query so let's say we want to know about uh, this last command here so we can simply type here like uh, tldr and last and this will give you information about the last so this is the information so it basically view the last toggle in the user and blah 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 so uh, this is a tldr and uh, this way you can uh, get it in your system and of course you need to install the npm before installing uh, this into your system and you can also use python pip i will provide the link in the description that will guide you how to install using that so do not worry about the installation because there are different ways that are available and uh, this is the tool and uh, if you if you want then you can use it so that's it in this video and i hope you find this video helpful if you did then do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button let me know what you think about this tool in the comment section below i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux